right, I just need to, I, I'm, I'm in a state of disbelief, I can't believe it. Um, well, first of all, uh, I'm going to mention Gary Hall, uh, not Gary Hall, uh, Josh Babarundi. I'm in a state of disbelief. I'm in an absolute state of disbelief. I thought, <clears throat> well, I want to apologize. Well, I've, I've got nothing to apologize for. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> There's obviously a lot that you don't know, Josh Babarundi. This is, um, I didn't, I can't believe I've just bumped into you and I thought, is that Josh Babarundi? And it was. So someone has told you, I don't know who, I'd like to know who, because if it's my partner, you know that my partner was arrested in Evans' flat. Because, this is serious, because I have been on the serious end, because it, my, my partner was acting very strangely when I was on the phone to Councillor... Um, Robin Max did, who's already seriously failed me. I was biting my tongue when I bumped into you just now. I filled out an online application form to you on the 15th of March. You're talking as if you and the members of the council have been affected by my trauma caused. Because the thing is, councillors are paid to stop and correct. Why, why did you never, I know you couldn't wait to, to move away from me. You said there have been incidents, incidents. Yes, there have been incidents in two incidents in Tesco's. The, the last one was the most recent one with Steve, Councillor Stephen Holt. So you've been watching my videos all this time, but you're only now gonna go to Gary Hall from the head of housing. Please understand, you've just told me to go to the town hall, to the MP office and the council offices where I've been banned from going. I was on the, I was on, uh, the, mobile, I was on the mobile phone to Caroline Ansell last night and I thought you, you wanted to take over from Caroline Ansell. I tell you who it was who told me about you. It was a gentleman. I've forgotten what his name was. I've forgotten his name, but it was in the Cavendish Hotel. And I'm apparently I'm not the only person who has been failed. I had absolutely no idea that you knew about my YouTube videos. You didn't tell me who it was who told you about them. But at the time that I contacted Councillor. Robin Max did. He had already failed me. I have a very damning ward review recording where I have said to, to the hospital, you can't release me with nowhere to go. That is what Councillor Robin Max did said to me and Darren in Darren's flat. But they did. They threatened the police and I was arrested out of the hospital. If maybe you'd like to have a look on my Facebook wall to see what PC McCarthy did to me on Beachy Head on the 3rd of February when I got news that my father has been dead since December 2021 and all the bruises and the injury and the paramedics who then turned up and then I lost that flat and the care coordinator who put me in that flat has been sacked and the council have gone in and taken all of my possessions and the emergency room that I've been given has just been taken from me. I have tried every phone line that I have been told to try. Phone lines that don't even work. Rough sleepers. I spent two hours on the phone to shelter. Shelter hung up on me. Uh, the man that I spoke to said, I don't need to hear what you're saying. I said, could you stop interrupting me? And then he hung up on me. I was given a phone line to ring, uh, a Rebecca, um, what's her name, Rebecca? Rebecca Wiley, and that number doesn't work. I recorded two hours 
sorry, an app, just over an hour, sorry, of speaking to Monique at the council. She didn't care. She didn't care. No, 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 none of you seem to care until you have been attacked in the bath by people who've come out of prison uh, to the point where you think you're going to be killed in council shared accommodation where you've had your bedroom window smashed, where you've had the police arrest you for doing what they told you to do, which is to purchase a dictaphone and to record antisocial behaviour. Until that has happened to you and you've got no one else to turn to. Darren, my partner, was given a caring role through Care for the Carers by Caroline Ansel. I don't need a carer. He was arrested in Evans flat. The care, coordinate, the care coordinator and DC Kamar, whom I recorded, and yes, I put them on YouTube as well, because they failed me. That care coordinator has been sacked. And DC Kumar is now a sergeant, so he doesn't want to help me, and he batted it back to her. So much for a look into domestic abuse, because under Section 4 of the Domestic Abuse Act 2021, I should have a roof over my head. That shelter's been taken from me. Juliet said they can't do this. They have. And she's a support worker for St Mary's House. These people are the people, Southdown Housing Association, who my sister works for, who failed me. As I said to you, I couldn't believe it. No, no more than about 20 minutes ago, about 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago, about 20 minutes ago, I saw you and I thought, that looks like Josh Beverendi. I thought, I'll... I'll give it a try. I thought, I'll just see. And I said, I said, excuse me, are you Josh Barberindi? And you said, yes, you're Bryony, aren't you? I said, how do you know? You know about your YouTube videos? I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that you knew about my YouTube videos. I said, I'm just a nobody. You said, no, you're not, which I appreciate. But, you know, I'm just documenting. And you, you said it's caused you some stress. Well, you never replied to my online application form on the 15th of March when I self-funded the Cavendish for nine months for my safety. Councillor Robin Maxted, oh, I don't have the text messages anymore because the police broke my phone in A&E on my birthday. They broke my phone. They bruised me. They put a leg restraint on me because they didn't like what I was saying because it was the truth. Someone in A&E actually called out to me and said they have to give you their names by law. One of them was PC Ford. He told me his YouTube account name is Legend. So you do all know about my YouTube videos and you shut me down. And there's a gentleman whose name I can't mention, but that he's doing an event up in Blackpool. He said, they don't care, you're an embarrassment. They, you, I have embarrassed all of you for failing me. So yes, the onus is, is on you. It really is on all of you. So I'm waiting to hear back from you. It's now 12 minutes past four. You've gone to Gary Hall, the head of housing, and I was passed around, I was passed to someone I think called David, who was a... Oh, they have all these titles. They just pass me around like a hot potato. When you wait, you, you've got to go through what I'm going through. You've got to spend hours and hours and hours and hours on the phone. And I spent hours on the phone to the council telling them, you can't do this to me. They changed the locks. There's too much to say about what has happened to me, but I was left to wander the streets in my pyjamas, dressing gown and slippers. And I'd already reported my doctor to the General Medical Council. I went down there in that state and they wouldn't do anything. So he had the nerve to say, you spent one and a half hours with Dr. Jones, don't I know it? And I have been told by a receptionist at the Lighthouse Practice, Report her as well to the General Medical Council. 
They don't like the threats, but they do nothing. There's a reason why I'm on severe disability. I spent thousands of pounds on these hotels just for my safety alone. I have got damning me council meeting minutes where these members of the council, Stephen, including Stephen Holt, spoke to, to Juliet, but he still wasn't interested in hearing what Juliet had to say. And she's a support worker. And I told them she's just finished chemotherapy treatment. Now I've fallen out with her. She got her mother to come in with police and paramedics and police to get me out of her flat, basically. But that room that, that I was coerced to was initially a duvet on a sofa. It wasn't even a room. And I've lost that emergency accommodation. So you're telling me to go to the MP office, which I've been blocked from going to, because as I said to you, in the streets, you don't want people to hear it though, three great big thugs, security, bullied me out. I am, this is a place where I signed my late mother's death certificate. Six days before she died, I was forced to sign a homeless application form in supported accommodation. I've just been kicked out of the same supported accommodation I was put in seven years ago. The notorious Saffron, survivors of the Saffron Facebook page, saying stop bullying the vulnerable and the disabled, but you're protecting criminals. And I've got damning council meeting minutes where all of you councillors are there. The president of the EHA, the Eastbourne Hospital Hospitality Association, you all know what's going on in these hotels. So you don't like me because I'm telling the truth. But this is the first time I had no idea that you, yes, I did a, I titled one of my videos to you, FAO, Josh Beberendi. So why did you never get back to me? Why have I just had to see you in the street and say, oh, are you Josh Beberendi, OBE? Yes, I am. I know about your videos. Well. Why didn't you contact me then? I filled out an online application form. So you have to find out about me on YouTube and I have to go through all this trauma on my own. I still don't know how my father died. I received an email to say that my father died over a year ago. I was beaten by PC McCarthy on Beachy Head. I'm now being bullied by the staff in the Beachy Head pub, um, in the Beachy Head pub. Oh, you're always up here suicidal. Chaplains have left. Andy left the Beachy Head chaplains because he said, quote unquote, it's too procedure based. He couldn't save people who were jumping to their deaths. I reached out to all of you who are paid to stop and correct and you're now you're trying to make me feel guilty for making videos addressed to you that I didn't even know that you'd seen because you didn't respond to my online application form. And it's only now, there you are in the street, I say hi to you and you're like, oh, you're Bryony from YouTube. Oh, I didn't know you knew me, I'm just a nobody. And you quite rightly said, you're not a nobody, which I appreciate. And I'm genuinely very sorry if this has caused you to your, your, your family or whoever, I'm just someone who's crying out for help and I'm stating the facts that councillors are paid by the taxpayer. I'm not a taxpayer, but taxpayers pay councillors to stop and correct and to look after the vulnerable. And yet on my birthday, all night long, I was mentally and physically abused by one of the police officers who started playing my YouTube videos in front of me and he said my net my YouTube name is is um my YouTube name is legend he'd broken my phone they'd thrown me on the ground I had to have an x-ray afterwards this is in a and e no one this is in an NHS hospital and no one came to my cries for help <laughs> all night handcuffed so tightly from behind that my hands were ballooned up. They were swollen. 
and they put a leg restraint on me because they didn't like what I was saying or because my breath was so offensive or maybe they shouldn't have maybe PC Ford and his colleagues shouldn't have dragged me out of the reception of my where I was on a welfare register making me homeless in pyjamas and dressing gown and slippers because I have evidence of crimes committed against me harassing calls an obscene phone call that are on the Metropolitan Police website and I've got many recordings of 101 call handlers illegally terminating my calls going against the apology from the Professional Standards Department. So we have rights, we have civil liberties, human rights and overall sovereignty and this is up to life in prison for going against, for committing these heinous crimes against members of the public. And there's a reason why I'm on severe disability. I still don't know how my father died over a year ago, but the staff who were trained 24 seven to deal with complex needs could not give a damn. And it's on my YouTube channel, just have a look. There was a drunk resident outside. I came out with my camera to have a go at the police because that PC McCarthy thug, do you know what they call, do you know what he referred to Darren as? A C word. And he said, under common law, I could punch you in the face and there's nothing you could do about it. And they wonder why we call them the Nazis, the Nazi police, the Stasi or whatever. He also said, I'd much rather be talking to Sherelle Clark than you. You know, Sherelle Clark, mother and daughter, jailed for five years for mugging the elderly who had a previous conviction in on the Isle of Wight. I looked them up online. And I've recorded the most disgusting conversation with Monique at the council who thinks this is OK. Even if I hadn't have done care work with the elderly, that makes my blood boil. Those poor elderly people. She left a man traumatised. She drunkenly assaulted me. I recorded the neighbours supporting me and I was arrested for doing what the police told me to do, which was to record antisocial behaviour. So, so Josh, no, I'm not sorry. I don't know what has gone on behind the scenes. I'm stating the facts. I reached out to you. I never heard back from you. I'm too afraid to be suicidal now because of what the police did to me in A&E. But I got a lovely letter from PC Norman, badge number five, five, oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Like, like demented children in the playground, they're all just covering each other's backs. I was aggressive, was I? Yeah, that's why I had an x-ray afterwards and they broke my phone. This is the new one. <laughs> and I'm just about using my, I've got no shelter, no roof over my head. All of it's been taken from me. I've been given 10 days, I've got 10 days now to get all of my stuff out of storage. I'm already paying Eastbourne Borough Council for storage. I have to keep buying new clothes, new clothes from cheap Primark because you keep move, you keep making me homeless you keep taking my emergency shelters from me i complain about bed bugs crawling on me i made street homeless i complain about criminals who've just come out of prison attacking me my bedroom window smashed i made homeless if you if 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 you i'm actually being really 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 nice about all of this you have no idea how nice i'm being about this you have no idea absolutely no idea i put the 151 officer on notice under common law and you still had to get three great big thug security guards to bully me out of the town hall where i signed my mother's death certificate when i was meant to be supported and sh her friends said to me you can't be superwoman well i've had to be my mother would be 85 and i tell you what she was angry enough in supported accommodation when an old man with a learning difficulty uh, believed that he owned the communal area.
he had it in his mind that he owned the communal area and he kept harassing me saying you shouldn't be in here this is in the lounge where the tv was in this little tiny hmo supported accommodation yes because the social worker landlord said i knew too much and he said he was in it for his pension he didn't care about us he didn't care about us so if I, I if i'm just stating the facts and the facts are offensive or they cause you cause all of you alarm and distress so it's now 4:24 well, we're waiting. To, I'm waiting to hear back from Gary Hall, head of housing. I'd already waited to hear back from him when I spent thousands of pounds of back PIP on the Cavendish Hotel, and I wanted to use some of that money to buy a mobility scooter to donate to my late mother's resting place, which I haven't been to for a long time. And I'm not going to say where it is, but it's a very popular place. So yes, you've never even told me that about my videos. You never emailed me. I do remember contacting you on Facebook. So all, all you've heard is what you've heard. And that Stephen Holt has obviously told you that about two just two occasions where i went up to him in tesco and the last time was only very very recently last month very recently not today not today he said he wasn't interested in what i had to say or juliet and i've fallen out with juliet so you need to really make up your minds here because the crimes that have already been committed against me but you have said you already know about my youtube videos hmm but you're treating me as if i'm the problem when i've been left broken and traumatized i don't care who it is that contacts you i'm aware that lucy at the mp office said that there's a Scott Andrew Horn who was reported to the ha uh, police for, con for being abusive to them and the House of Commons. I don't know because I've never met this person, but this Dan from Police Abusing Powers had emailed me to say that this Scott Andrew Horn was contacting the MP office on my behalf. And then I live streamed a call to Lucy last year and she said he was abusive and he was reported to the police and blocked from calling them and the House of Commons. Dan from Police Abusing Powers has had his trolls trolling me, including himself, and Juliet, who works for St Mary's House, who's a support worker. And she encouraged me to keep documenting, so that's what I'm doing. All this narcissistic abuse and attacking each other, it's not going to help anyone. And I will speak my truth to the end. So I'm still waiting to get a call back. But I just want to finish by saying, Dan, uh, this is me addressing Josh of Burundi. Dan from Police Abusing Powers YouTube channel, he had a friend called Tina Che from the Independent Advice Network who falsely offered me her services when I was self-funding the Cavendish Hotel over nine months, okay? And she has said she had 40 years of experience of dealing with the police and vulnerable people. She had charitable rights organisations on standby in London, blah, 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 blah. And she was going to offer me all this legal help and that as someone on severe disability, I shouldn't even be in these places. And then she retracted the help for no reason. And when I spoke about it on my channel, she threatened me with an email, which I would love if she could, I would love it if she took me to court because that phone call, she wouldn't have a leg to stand on because that phone call, I would like it for my evidence because she falsely offered me help. So I've been lied to. You're being lied to, Josh. 
because you have just we've never met before but you know about my youtube videos and you're being told exactly exactly what the executor of my late mother's estate has been told she does not engage rubbish they do not engage hours and hours and hours and hours of tirelessly now if you've blacklisted me then those are your crimes not mine i am your constituent you serve me the taxpayer pays you to serve me until you've been attacked in the bath by people who've come out of prison and had your bedroom window smashed and I'm someone who's, who's actually been to the Saturn Rape Victim Centre. I've had attempted rape. I laugh that off. What the police, these demented property managers and demented licensees have done to me have left me permanently traumatised. That's all I have to say. It is now, the time is now 4.30pm. Josh Babarundi, and I'm still waiting because there's only half an hour left before closing time. That emergency shelter has been taken from me. I am waiting to hear back.